To make sure that we are creating opportunities for students to think in the classroom, we need to act with both intentionality and precision. This includes making sure that we plan for the type of thinking we want to occur in the classroom, including opportunities to give feedback on the quality of that thinking. We therefore need to give attention to how this will happen through our own reflective practice and also in collaboration with our colleagues. This does not mean we must throw out all our existing unit plans. It means rather that we view them to look for opportunities to develop explicitly student thinking, seeking where we might include information or tweak our designs to optimise and target student thinking. It is old wisdom that if you do not plan for something, it will not happen. One key aspect to help do this well is to remember the following principle. Always write a cognitive act in the context that it will be used. Here's an example. There is little point saying that in a particular task, students will be required to analyse and evaluate, or to justify and explain. We need also to provide the context. So rather than just saying that, I might say something like, students will analyse and evaluate arguments relating to the use of nuclear power as a possible means of carbon reduction. See how specific that is. Or I could say, students will explain their solution for carbon reduction and justify that their solution is optimal. Again, much more specific. Writing cognitions in contexts gives us two directions. One is curriculum direction and the other is pedagogical direction. For the task, students will analyse and evaluate arguments relating to the use of nuclear power as a possible means of carbon reduction. We can ask, what will they need to know to determine this? What information is necessary and how will they find it? This tells us what curriculum material we will need. Given they need to analyse and evaluate arguments, we can ask not just what arguments, curriculum, but how will they learn to analyse and evaluate? What will they and we do? Pedagogy. But this doesn't mean we have to start planning from scratch. We already do these things. We need instead to subject our tasks to a cognitive audit. Cognitive audits interrogate the task for cognitive demands. One of our favourite activities is working with teachers to unlock the cognitive potential of their existing lessons just by making the thinking explicit. Realising how rich our tasks already are and using that knowledge to make them better is one of the great rewards of speaking and planning for student cognition.